Hi, I'm Dr. Grant Garcia at Orthopedic Specialist of Seattle, and I'm one of the sports surgeons here. And today we're going to talk about our blog topic for kneecap dislocations or patella dislocations. So in general, when you dislocate your kneecap, you dislocate it outward. And I have a diagram here uh, of the anatomy to help you understand this a little bit better. So in general, this is the kneecap right here. It comes out this direction. This is the outside of your knee. And what tears is something called the medial patellofemoral ligament. And this is the ligament we try to reconstruct with usually a hamstring tendon, which we'll talk about later. Again, this is the tibial tubercle, tibial tubercle right here, and here's the patella tendon. And this is we need this for larger procedures, and this is generally in patients who have had a number of dislocations or have a cartilage injury. So in general, there's two main types of patients. Generally, the first type of patient is a first-time dislocator, and then there's the people with multiple dislocations. If it's your first-time dislocation, we try to get away without surgery, and again, we usually do rehab, et cetera, but we usually get an MRI to identify if there's a piece of broken cartilage that occurs. If there has not, then generally we can do no surgery and get away with just rehab. Now, unfortunately, as we as you have more dislocations, we want to start considering surgeries. And 10, 15 years ago, we weren't as aggressive, and I see a lot of patients in their 30s and 40s that have had bad arthritis or kneecap cartilage injuries, which are much more difficult to treat, but we'll still talk about those options. So this is why I like to take care of them sooner. So after a second dislocation, the data shows we should consider stabilizing the kneecap. Overall, as we age, the recurrence rate does drop, um, but if they're in their 20, if you've never had it, uh, dislocation before and it's your first time, it's around a 70 to 80 percent chance of dislocating again. Now let's say you've gone through the whole process of rehab and dislocate again and you're indicated for surgery. Well, what are your options? Well, the first option, the most common option, is the MPFL reconstruction. So what we do is we do a minimally invasive incisions as well as arthroscopically so we can see the rest of the knee as well. And we do a reconstruction with a hamstring tendon. This has very good results with around a 90 percent return to sport, five-month recovery, and a very low recurrence rate. Now let's say you have a patella defect or you have a cartilage defect. Then we want to start thinking about the more powerful procedure, which is the tibial tubercle osteotomy. And again, it's a larger procedure, but it's necessary when you have a kneecap cartilage injury. So what we do is we cut the, the tubercle and we shift it inward and upward. The inward reduces the overall dislocation risk and the upward reduces the patella cartilage defect or the amount of area that's pressing on the area where the kneecap comes into the groove. Uh, in general, you want to think about this for patients with one I mentioned cartilage defects and secondly with patella arthritis, patella um, kneecap arthritis. Overall though, it's a long recovery, it's still around five months, but it's six weeks of non-weight bearing and we usually fix this with two screws uh, in the tub tibial tubercle. Again, this is important for you to understand because you need to understand that it's a complex algorithm. We work on the tubercle, we work on the MPFL, and we work on the kneecap cartilage. And you want a surgeon that specializes in all three of those things or you won't get a whole or a holistic approach to your knee um, in this situation. Again, the most important thing I want to emphasize is people wait too long to have this taken care of. And I see a number of patients who are in their 30s and 40s who've had significant arthritis that the only option they have is actually a kneecap replacement. Again, it's a complex treatment algorithm, and this is important to go to a specialist who, who specializes in all those things I mentioned previously. If you or a family member has this problem, please look it up uh, for further information on my website at www.grantgarciamd.com or visit us at Orthopedic Specialists of Seattle and make an appointment. Thanks.